Hey everyone, just wanted to go on a little rant, I guess. Uh, going a little crazy with all the quarantine stuff. Um, did start wearing the masks when we're out in public, uh, getting groceries and whatnot. And it, it just seems to be the responsible thing to do to keep everyone safe because nobody knows if they actually had it or not. Um, Cause I do work right now at home for an insurance company and sometimes we get calls about people wanting to do the antibody tests and some other stuff that, uh, because they don't know if they've been exposed and can actually pass it on to somebody else or not. So, uh, um, there's a little bit of responsibility there for everybody, but really I wanted to, to talk about just how I'm dealing with, uh, being, locked up with Hector all the time. Uh, <laughs> watched a lot of movies the other day, um, but um, we actually had the Harvard carpets clean things to one of our roommates. Our roommates are moving out at the end of the month, so it'll just be me and Hector. Um, and um, they uh, paid to have the carpets clean, which looked really good. I'm just gonna kind of reverse it here and see if I can, if I can. And um, so the carpets look pretty good. And I had, so we had to take everything you see here, everything except for the fish tank, anything that's on the floor came out. And these, uh, these tables are kind of heavy. You gotta take the stone tiles out and then the table is like titanium. So it's really light, but with the tiles, it's heavy. And uh, all my D and D miniatures here, every single one of those came out and then get placed back in. So there's a lot of little details, and then the bar got moved around, and so. But the carpet looks much better than it did, and that was nice of them to pay to have the carpets cleaned and have the room cleaned. Um, but yeah, it took the carpet cleaners like 20 minutes to clean the carpets and it took me like, it feels like 20 hours to get everything moved out and moved back in. So. Yeah, also my hair is a little out of control and they do have haircuts available, but uh, limited hours. And uh, I should have went ahead and tried to do it. It was an hour and a half wait the other day. I should have tried to, I went and had it done. I m may end up just cutting it myself, which I've never done. But my dad, if some people who know me know my dad used to be a barber. And so he, I got his old barber tools. That, and so I can actually have the tools to come in here if I wanted to take that chance. So that should be interesting if I decide to do that or not. But you know, this is probably the longest my hair's ever been. And uh, so eh, that, that would make a really interesting video if I videoed me cutting my hair, cause it's, uh, uh, that would be something. So I might do that, but uh, We'll see. Oh, and the girls, the girls are just so comfy right now. Yeah. Here's a little Phoebe wanting a treat. Here, Phoebe. You want a cookie? Here you go. <laughs> but, um, oh, and then this is my work at home station right here. This is where I'm working at home right now. And then uh, our roommate, Josh, was using my personal computer to work at home, so he, we have that set up too. But after about another week or so, he won't be working here anymore and that's fine. 
Um, I'll get my personal computer back during the day if I wanted to uh, use it during a break. Um, and trying to uh, lose weight right now is not conducive. I know the gyms may open up. I don't know what the restrictions are on those right now. But it, it's a little crazy. I just feel like I'm so fat, especially in this shirt. Ugh. But, um, yeah, I'm starting to lose a little bit of weight because I went to counting calories this week. So I started just doing it this week. And so the calories are down a little. Um, and it's helping. It's helping. So, um, but then I saw this little exercise program that I may try to do to try to get back in shape and get everything down and still count the calories. So that's what's going on right now. I can't wait till, you know, things are a little bit better and the curve flattens as it said, and then friends can come over a little bit and uh, a little bit more social interaction. We used to have um, a game night on Saturday night with the roommates since there were so many of us here. Um, we didn't do that last night. Last night was supposed to be the game night and we didn't do it. So it's kind of getting phased out. But uh, there's... Um, mm -hmm. Elsa, nope, can't take Phoebe's cookie. She's gonna guard that cookie. You can't, you can't, you can't take it. Nope. Nope. You can't take her cookie. You can't take her cookie. No. Mm -mm. No, Elsa. <laughs> uh, yeah, the girls are something else. They still like to go for walks and stuff too, so that, that gets us out of the house a little bit. So, just kind of went to, to go on a rant and, and let everybody know everything's still okay. Um, so, yeah, the biggest thing is the roommates moving out. That's going to be a big change for me because they've lived here for five years, except for um, Bree, who moved in for a couple months uh, after the COVID-19 thing started, just because... Um, they were supposed to move out earlier and they moved in with Bree, but they didn't because they didn't know the situation about jobs and whatnot, but then they found a place that they, they liked and are gonna go ahead and move. So Bree, Bree's been here about two months and so she's moving out with them. And it, it's good that they have their own place now, I guess, but because, uh, you know, five years is a pretty long time. So can't really complain. Um, I think that's about all for now. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm stay tuned on the hair thing. Um, need to really call some friends I haven't talked to in a long time. Haven't really kept in touch much with, you know, working during the day. It's been kind of stressful. And so I, I sometimes we'll just go take a nap and then cook. And then, you know, by the time we, you do everything you need to do during the day after work, um, you know, the, day, the evening's pretty much gone and then you gotta get up and go to work again. But, um, so, um, I took some time off because they were cleaning the carpet, so I, there's no way I could have worked if they were gonna clean the carpets in the middle of the afternoon and to get everything ready. So, I go back to work, um, the day after Memorial Day, so that, and then, um, so that's good to have a four-day weekend. And then I have a four-day work week. But, uh, yeah, that's about all for now. Um, so hopefully everybody's staying safe. And I'm going to go ahead and try to email and call some friends and see how they're doing. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay healthy and try to stay active and uh, try to get back to normal as much as possible. And uh, try to get an appointment to get a haircut if you need one because uh, this is going a little crazy. Okay. Bye.